This is my dad's 1956 Ford, which he bought back in the 60s when he decided to have a bunch of kids so he could haul us all around in it. Station wagon? No, it's a country sedan. That's what they called station wagons back then. I believe it was built in Long Beach back when Ford actually built cars in California long, long ago. And we took this thing everywhere. That's me in the middle as a baby. And we got a teardrop trailer with a stove in it and sleeping accommodations. And we towed it all across America, had all kinds of adventures on it through the 70s and 60s and into the 80s. And my dad still keeps it running. He drives it everywhere. It gets a lot of looks. Everybody thought we were a bunch of losers in it back when we first bought it. But now it's kind of a cool classic collector uh, car with what you would call a patina on it, I guess. Because that that's a cool word for neglect inside. There's a hinge that'll rip children's fingers off. So the dumb kids are the ones with less fingers if you drive one of these. And the smart kids have all their fingers. The back seat has lots of room. And in the way back is where you put blankets and pillows and stuff on road trips for the kids to lounge around and read comic books. This was the pre-seatbelt era. And then if you fold the seat down, you've got tons of room. So when we went camping, you could actually sleep a couple of people in the back of this thing comfortably. And then the others would sleep in the trailer, maybe put somebody in the tent outside or somebody across the bench seat in the front. Here's a look at the view from the cockpit to all of the gauges that the driver has to deal with. That flaming skull sticker was from the previous owner. I always thought it was cool when I was a little kid. You've got all your basic gauges, and then we added a couple along with a cassette player to play music on the road again. And then if we look up at the dashboard, your teeth are meeting that metal if you get into an accident. And under the hood, that's a 292 Thunderbird engine V8 with a, what is that, like a, the carburetor off of a Mustang from the 60s, I believe is what you got. Yeah, there. right. Yeah. yeah barrel from the Mustang. You get the original oil bath air filter. And whenever my dad works on this car, he gets the lifetime warranty on the part and saves the receipt. So everything on this engine is free at this point. It's had a bunch of alternators, a bunch of water pumps, a bunch of fuel pumps. It's even had three Amco transmissions because they used to do a lifetime warranty on their transmissions until we showed up and we did it for everybody. Thunderbird power. Wing windows and cranks. So what's it like to drive? It's like being the captain of a big boat. So you're floating, you're floating down the road. You can't even, you can hear the bumps, but you can't really feel them. The brakes are terrible. They're powered mostly by adrenaline. And it takes me back to when I was a little kid, driving across the desert in the big blue whale. A gigantic steering wheel. Primitive instruments and that beautiful sound. That 292 Thunderbird V8.